Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm heading out now to actually go to Disney Springs to catch up with a friend. I'm not totally sure how they're going to feel about being on video, so yeah, we may just have a massive time jump here. Either way, once I finish there, going to go check out the parks. Not sure which park or where, but, or oh, Disney Park, but we're going to play it by ear. Um, I'm going to start driving, so chat to you guys when I can next chance to. Wow, that's tongue tied. I'm at Disney Springs or downtown Disney, wherever you want to call it. Just walking to catch up with my friend. Kind of give you guys a quick little overview as we go past. So we've got Planet Hollywood up here. We've got a building, we're going to go to a little area there and right next to here is like a three-story Coke building. Some restrooms. Oh, theme to like a fire department. And then there's a little shopping district in here. I know there was a... Oh, I forget the name of it. Tommy, Tommy Bahama, I think it is. And I mentioned in my throwback videos and really had no context to it. A lot of the Tommy Bahamas actually have like a smell. It's almost like a pina colada-esque pineapple smell. And from thing is, I love it. It's an awesome smell. But I've only come across... Oh, that was loud. <laughs> I've only come across... It looks like... No, it's actually close. But we'll check it out on the way back. We've got parked in here. But of my experience with the stores I've gone to, there's only been like five stores around the world I've gone to that have actually had that box smell. And this happens to be one of them. I'm gonna put my hand down because why my shoulder's starting to kill me. Oh, okay, let's just switch. And two, you know, as much as I'm getting used to this, I still get kind of awkward having the film staring at me while I film. So I really should cut, um, begin to speed up to catch up to my friend because. Where my GPS took me was like at the complete opposite end of this um, shopping district where I want to be and it's actually quite a big shopping district. If you can kind of just see behind me, like we're not even remotely close to where I need to be. We've got a Zara over there, a few different stores, a Max, a Fora. So maybe I'll find that Ultra. I, don't know, I just want to check it out, see if I can find some. It's actually, I'm trying to find some of uh, Just Be Star Cosmetics stuff. Not sure if I even want to buy anything, I'm just wanting to see it in the store realistically. Um, so I'm going to put you guys down and keep moving. Like I said, not sure if my friend's going to want to be on camera. So, play by ear. I'll explain where that ends up happening after the fact. And yeah, let's keep going, guys. Wandering around Disney Springs. But yeah, try to check this place out. It's actually hot. Mm, let's turn around. It's actually hotter today than it was yesterday, and the humidity is definitely there. Like, you guys probably want to see it because there was a few clips I noticed it on, so I didn't want to end up using them. But um, this is the first time I've kind of left the hotel room and the camera's fogged up, like almost immediately, because of the temperature change and the humidity here. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to figure out what we're doing for that, but okay, let's keep going. Hey, I am back in the car now. I finished up with my friend. So I didn't end up filming anything. We we're kind of just catching up the whole time, so we really didn't have a chance. However, now I'm gonna head off to the parks. Um, I'm not sure which park I'm gonna head to. There you go. I'm um, gonna have to figure that out, and you guys probably figure out in the next clip when I'm there. Okay, it's just got to well, to to see, but um. Gonna start making our way to let's actually try the monorail today. So we did the ferry for the party. So for the transport from here to the park we got left to check out is the ferry and then the buses. But I'm pretty sure the buses are only one when it's busy, so let's go monorail. I was a bit of air conditioning at the moment. Kind of quite hot walking around uh, Disney Springs. But Saying that, I still have to play security and do a few other little things. So, I'll probably touch base when I actually get inside the gates of the park, okay? Still not in the park, but those clouds are not filling for the confidence. It's just kind of nice and bright over there, but turn this way towards the park, it's just looking dark. Oh, I hope it doesn't rain again today. Feels like it, the humidity is quite high again, but if it does, hopefully we're inside, we can just avoid it. Let's 
start trying to make her way through this sort of tunnel thing and different train station. And figure out where we're going to go. Actually, we're going to duck quickly into decorations and see if they've got some badges I'm looking for. But besides that, oh, now we're still there. Quickly, another tree up. Last time we were here, this is all decked out for Halloween, so we're going to do a quick walk around this little main street hub. No, not the hub. The hub is actually the other end, but this top half of Main Street, and look at everything they've kind of done for Christmas, because we love Christmas. Okay, that's a lot of people. So, we'll come back later, and we're on our way out. I'm actually going to quickly open up the um, Fast Pass, not Fast, yeah, Fast Pass app, but my Disney experience, I should say and see what fast passes we can actually get ourselves. But what we do is quickly look at some of these beautiful Christmas decorations they've got going on. I have to meet, okay, in the corner for the big reveal. And it's actually big! It's in Rose Castle. Let's zoom in so you can see exactly how beautiful that thing is. There are so many people around. So, I'm going to put you guys down like always so I don't run into anyone and so I can book these fast buses, okay? Do you see ducks? There is no fast buses left within like the times that I'm kind of wanting to be here for. So, I think let's just start Adventureland and we'll slowly walk our way around and see what actually has a short enough queue line for us to queue up for and play with my ear. I can't remember my motto for this whole trip, hasn't it? Either way, let's put you guys down and get into Adventureland. There's so many ducks around at the moment. Okay, so the first attraction we're coming up to here is Jungle Cruise. Yes, and I have, they've already changed it over to Jingle Cruise. So it's just giving us about Christmas jokes. Let's see what the queue line is like. Currently can't see the wait time. 50 minutes! Yeah, it's really not an attraction I want to wait 50 minutes for right now. We're definitely going to do Jingle Cruise, and I'll show you the whole thing to you guys. At the moment, I just keep moving around, so I've got a section that has probably around that 30 minute wait time. We may end up having to just kind of leave and go to another park, but hoping not to, is I kind of just don't want to spend too long in parks today, just because I did walk around a lot at downtown Disney, but more so than that, yesterday just really destroyed me so I could do with having a little bit of a quieter day and quieter days means that I can edit the vlogs a lot easier which means that I get more stuff up there for you guys to see. I was saying that let's see what hide to the cape you have so that's the next one up to. I didn't wear my shirt today I think I wore it yesterday so that's annoying but we still can tell that we want the redhead that seems worse at 55. We're going to find an attraction to go on, even if it turns out to be something like Phil Hart Magic. But it just seems like the park's especially busy today. I know it has been the whole time we've been here. I've got bubbles coming towards me, so let's just see if we can switch either way. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I know the parks have been busy the whole time we've been coming here, but I don't know. Do I just seem especially? Maybe it's just Magic Kingdom itself is a lot busier. Trying to dodge people while I can hand out full extension isn't always easy. Okay, the next attraction we can come to a scene here is Splash Mountain. I'm going to skip over that today. Like I said, I will definitely attempt to come in to all the water rides, which I think is two at one time. For you guys. Ugh. But we'll go past that to Big Thunder and see what the queue line is there for that. Worst case scenario, we end up going on no rides and I can just show you guys around Magic Kingdom a bit. We can still head down and past the Barnstorm and check out the construction updates for, what is that, Tron Light Cycle Coaster coming, I think that's next year, maybe 2021? I'm not completely sure. Either way, let's get past people's and figure out what this queue line situation is, okay? It's not looking good because this area does look very, very busy, but wish me luck. Okay, it was 35, so it's gone up to 40, so that's probably seems most accurate. 
Okay, right, that's most blurry. Um, I think let's go here so we can at least do I don't know, traction. But oh, this park is just hectic today. different to Disneyland, but we're about to have some trouble trying to get around because the parade is going on. I'm actually not going to stand there and watch it right now because as you can see I've got my small bag with me so I do need to actually try to find a time to come back into the park with like the ADD, the tripod, everything and get it set up properly. Mansion City has a drum roll please. And it says 50 minutes. It's going to be close to make sure it does actually say 50 because I really feel like it is. Yep, it's saying 50. So, yeah, let's just not right now. Like I said, let's aim towards Phil Harbour because hopefully that shouldn't have a wait at all. And while we do, we'll see what Small World and Pan is sitting at. Don't get me wrong, I don't think Peter Pan is an option. Like, that, even on a slow day, they'll sit like a 60, 70 minute wait. But, Small words always an option. Slightly annoying ride, but it's always fun. Like I said, it's a slow boat ride, but it's kind of cool. Pun not intended. Oh, 35. Okay, that's not ridiculous. However, I am going to see if we can get the pan first. Not pan. Feel heart magic. Just because, still, after the last 45 minutes, 40, 45 minute wait, I can feel it's just not one to wait longer. So we can get in a full hour magic without waiting, there's a benefit. And upside, even if we have to wait, we'll be inside in air conditioning. And Peter Pan's sitting on a 45. Wow, well, that's actually kind of low for Peter Pan. Well, especially for what we've been seeing other tracks in other parks sitting out. Okay, okay. I just grabbed a fast pass for full hour magic. Pro tip, nothing you have to do, I'm just doing it because I don't, none of the other ones are going to suit my time frame here and I want to guarantee I get in now sort of thing so it's really just trying to hedge my bets 
However, I'm going to the restroom quickly before we go in, and then we should go straight into the show. Seems like fun, doesn't it? Just inside, this seems like a very long, fast, fast line, but at least we're in air conditioning, so super lining. Okay, right, while we wait to let you get in, I'll show you the quick little lobby waiting area, which is cool. Anyway, yeah, if you ever sit down, it's going to have to wait a bit longer. My that I could actually put the glasses there. I've been mean, thinking that was an idea, but wasn't so totally sure if it would work. So that's really the reason why half of it's in focus, half's not, is that I realised I could actually put the 3D glasses on the lens and it would at least, wouldn't make it 3D, but it would at least like merge the two images on the screen. Anyway, I learned that and now I can do that next time. We've left the castle, well no, we're still in Fantasyland, but we've left like the grounds of the castle and we're entering into the forest. So you've kind of just behind us there, we've got Enchanted House of Phil, be our guest there. Over this side is the mine train. Oh, there's some more people falling, watch them. Plan on going on that at some point and I believe they should give you like an on-ride video, so may use that, I'm not totally sure. Either way, during the Halloween party, I did say that I'd come back here and show you guys these little areas a bit. So let's first go into Gaston's Tavern, a quick look there, and then we'll go across to Village Gifts, which is a dedicated bell store. Okay, right, first thing we're noticing is there's some antler-themed wreaths on the outside for Christmas, which is cool. Oh, and some kind of, I'm not telling you what you'd call that, garland, maybe? Let's go inside, even though it's kind of busy, we're not going to grab anything, but we'll just have a quick little look around. The drinks menu, but here's kind of your dedicated food items. There's your sandwiches, some cutter, a little cinnamon roll, and the La Fouse Blue. Yeah, which is the main thing for here. It's just going to be Actually, it's not that long, but we're still not going to grab anything. She's not really wanting anything like that at the moment. Some antler. Chandeliers, walk over the top. And we can see his chair in the corner. Okay, okay so this is Village Gifts. They said it's a dedicated A Hugh the Beast store. So let's get a quick little walk over the whole store and we'll keep moving, okay? Some bowls, cutlery, blankets, things like that. Tea towels down there, pot holders. Cases in the record. Some figurines. More figurines and just more ornaments over there. Okay. So we've got pots, cups. Same up. I'm actually going to go with chocolate because I've got something there. Um, walking past Mermaid now. We'll see what the queue line wait time is. If it's not too excessive, we may actually try that out. If I do, I probably won't show you guys because I did show you during the Halloween party. But I can definitely show you the queue line a bit better in daylight. All right, so it's closed. Let's find out. So you guys did see this queue line at night, but I'm just going to walk the whole thing again. We're actually going on the attraction. They they were just down, but they're back up now. So I'll show you what I can 
as we go in and maybe you see it a bit better through the daylight and then set of night. I'll try to point out that Nautilus, but I'm honestly not actually good at finding it in general. So it's gonna be luck of the draw if we actually do see it. That's a waterfall. Can I see a bit of the shipwreck? But you can definitely see even more so now at daylight how I can see how I was saying that this had a much better queue line than Disneyland's. Well, Land's was just honestly rubbish. Comparable to this, like the theming, the everything is just it's beautiful here. There's a lot of people behind me, but I'm gonna let them go, see if we can see the Nautilus. I can't actually, I'm sorry guys. So let's just keep moving, okay? Some more theming. I'm going to start seeing some of those portholes up here. Let's we'll see if we see any of the crabs if they can wait for us. Nope, that one's yawning. If my glasses on my head, maybe it's because my hands are, I've got things in my hands, but they're not. There's one there, but there's one out here. Okay, can you guys see the crab? Anyway, cool. Alright, let's go inside and we'll see Scuttle. Okay. That was fun. Gonna so keep moving around. We go through circus and like I also have probably the Halloween party. We'll do a check on the construction for the light cycle coaster. And see how that's all good. It's a three minute wait for me to do with Ariel, so probably won't check that out. Even though it is kind of cool. She's one of the better characters for me because she's a face. So uh, either way. Let's keep moving through into circus and see how it goes. See what else we can find. If the same goes short enough line, we'll jump on it. If not, no big deal. We've got two more fast passes booked. In one hour, the next one goes live. So we may hold off and do that. I'm not very sure. Maybe we'll just line up and try to do space for the fun of it. I don't know. Everything so far today is up in the air. But we're just trying to enjoy ourselves. It's actually started to cool off a little bit, which is nice. It's actually kind of comfortable to walk around now. I don't think it rained, the ground's not wet. So I keep switching my arms. I just heard it, you know that. I don't know what's going on with my shoulders. Either way, let's keep going through. Okay, so this crossbow's up and running. So it must have been down for the Halloween party. I'll show you that to you guys before we go look at the construction update, okay? We have, I'm just going to walk past because we have actually got children in just underwear, which is not cool. So. Okay, you guys can see things are splashing, water everywhere, and let's stop the little barrier here stopping us. So this is as far as we can go on this side, but you can actually see they've actually got some of the track on the outside now, which is awesome. I didn't even know they had that yet. As well as the construction for the internals. Let's zoom in and show you guys as much as I can see. So we can see we've got some track inside, just make sure it's not blurry. I think it's not, but I honestly can barely tell on this small screen. Sorry, guys. But even if it is, Vegas says we've got outside track circling up there past the, that. 
That's looking amazing. Let's actually go over to Toronto now. That's looking awesome. I think we've still got quite a bit of time before it goes, before it's open. Anyway, let's head around to Tomorrowland. We'll see what the queue line is like for, uh, Space Mountain. Yes, Space Mountain. Yeah, Space Mountain. Oh, sorry. Um, well, Space Mountain. And we'll also see if we can see any more of the construction over from Tomorrowland. I think we should be able to. Especially with that track coming out now. We may even check out what is the Speedway's time. And if that's open, we may go there because we should be able to see it a nice view from the speedway. However, I did know that it's, the speedway was scheduled to go down for a good chunk while they're doing construction because obviously it's kind of looping over the top of there. You really couldn't have guests doing their thing riding while they're doing construction. But Let's just get over to Tomorrowland and we'll see what we can see in the way of construction, okay? okay so Tomorrowland Speedway is definitely up and running. Now we just gotta see if it's got a wait time that's worth us waiting in to check out the construction update. This queue line, I haven't seen the wait time yet, is looking very long. So yeah, maybe that's not gonna be a realistic option for us to check out. 40 minutes, yeah. May have to try that some other time, especially I'm pretty sure I can feel it starting to spit slightly. So it means that it most likely is going to rain very soon. And that's not cool, especially with it being an outdoor attraction and outdoor queue line. So may have to try to go around to space and see what its weight time is. Because it's going to rain, at least that's an indoor attraction. And we can avoid some of the weather like that. Also, this is, we may go check out People Mover. It's a good way to check out all of Tomorrowland. And honestly, it's one of my favourite attractions. But before we do that, let's go around the back and check out the update on the light side of the coaster, okay? It's probably not worth going any further because there's a big construction wall, so we're not going to get too far. However, let's definitely actually go up. Oh, it's cool over here. Let's definitely actually go up onto the People Mover because we're going to see a beautiful view. Not there. It just looks like a very long line for a people mover, but it is going to give us a great view of the construction. So let's queue up for that and then see if we can just go from there, okay? I've got to change my plans. Still plan on going up there. Uh, that's going to be extremely dark right now. I do have a strong feeling it's about to start falling down. So I'm actually going to deal with the 45 minute wait for Space Mountain just because we'll be inside an air conditioning. And then hopefully if it does buck it down while I'm in there, it'll clear out that line a little bit. So when we hop off, short of queue, I think that would benefit us. Also, I think the exact opposite will happen too if I wait there. That more people will go towards Space Mountain because it's raining. So, yeah, that's just definitely what I'm doing. That's all I'm saying. I'm really loving this decision. The AC is definitely pumping. The looks kind of wet, which is not cool. But I'll give you guys a quick little look at the queue line. Well, up to the point where we get stopped because of people. I always want to say, like, there is a much different sort of theming to this ride from what we were seeing down in land. It's also the years are different. Like, where we saw a lot of 77 stairs. I'm not sure what number it is here, but we'll, if I see some, I'll start pointing them out to you, okay? They're not as obvious yet as they were down there. They got rid of the moving walkway, which is totally sad. I actually loved the moving walkway. Mostly because I'm lazy, but it also is like really bouncy. So, uh, maybe I was being childish, but all the best people are 
I'll show you guys what I can. So I'm trying to get my bag on, so it's throwing the camera around. So I'll mm. show you guys what I can as I walk out, but fun little area here. Trying to say what the future is going to be like in 1975. You can see that none of it was right, but now hopefully it is rain that we don't have to do with that. But anyway, you can go to the people mover, I think. Yeah, that fast pass line if you go live, the footage live now. I also should figure out what it's for. I really didn't look, I just looked at I knew it's an attraction that I would like. I just don't want hundred percent know which attraction it is. Either way. Let's get out of here, find out where our bus bus is for, and then get to that thing. So it's fun. Okay, so we came out of there. First thing I'm noticing is the arcade's completely gone. And this is just the quick little overview of the gift shop. Got your personalised items there, some drinks, some candy, which you need to deal with there. I'm also noticing just, ooh, here, but there, we've got some fast, fast passes, some Magic Bands, which I'll go look at now and see if there's anything worth grabbing. Ooh, there's a Jack one here, add some for the mansion. Okay, so if these are some of the ones that, uh, one of the things, my major personalising one, pretty fun. Don't quite know the price of it. Okay, so, uh, okay, they're about the same. Okay, first thing I think is, there is not water in the ground, it hasn't rained, wow. That came out way too weirdly. Either way, um, okay, it's just as humid. That's not good. Some of those fast passes are fun. Worth the point enough. Magic Pants were cool. However, uh, let's see if we can get up onto the people mover and go from there, okay? I'm in line with the people mover. That looks awesome. <laughs> it really does. I can't wait for that light cycle post to open. They are so far along, but obviously there's still so much theming they've got to do. See a lot of that crack, that big bank turn. Not near that part at all. Oh, there it is. Must be a storage thing in there. Have a quick look. Find a wall again. Right. That is going to be an amazing attraction, isn't it, guys? It is a clone of the one that's in Okay, I thought I'd quickly show you guys, that's the meet and greet with Buzz Lightyear. I may be wrong, but it did dawn on me while I was watching a video of someone else's about a week back, that this Buzz Lightyear is more than likely a completely different character than the Buzz Lightyear you'll meet at Hollywood Studios, due to the fact that this one is referencing the show, which is then in turn referencing the character we meet in the second second yes yeah, second um toy story films that ends up with zerg as his father which then you kind of put out the one at hollywood studios due to the fact that it's in andy's backyard reference that obviously that is the buzz light here we know so 
I could be wrong, like I said, but I am strongly believing that at least this could just be a theory of mine, that they are actually completely different characters. This one is either the one from the TV series, or the second buzz we meet in Toy Story 2, and the one at Hollywood Studios is the one that we've known from movie 1 all the way through movie 4. So, interesting. More than likely, probably not movie 4, because by that point he's with Bonnie and not going to be in Andy's backyard. Let alone maybe we be far too far into this. Saying that, I go to try dodge Stroller's plans and some wheelchairs. So, let's get over towards Mansion and jump onto the ladder plate. We're now down to 25 minutes, so that's not too bad. However, I don't think we're actually going to get a better view of that attraction and the update than we were getting from the people mover. So I think we may just not bother with that at all at the moment. If we come back another day and it's short, we'll jump on there see if we can get a better view. But I really do think that overview we saw from the people was actually pretty decent. Let's keep moving, as I keep saying, but I don't know, I keep getting distracted, I keep talking to you guys about different things. So, let's see how it goes. Um, no, that doesn't look low enough. Right. So, standard two lines, only 60 minutes, but our fast pass line is pretty long. So I'm thinking the ride could have been down for a period and it's just come back up. So, that's annoying. But either way, we're still guaranteed to get a little bit faster than standby. So, it's about how long it takes us. It's currently 4.28. Adorable it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful guys, isn't it? It is nice. You said that at the dock, it's still. Mansion's awesome too. I'll show you guys everything up to the ride, including the ride. Essentially, I, mean, I wasn't able to show you the normal ride at Disneyland because we had a whole amount of holidays. But the only real difference between that attraction and this attraction is they have the Hatbox Ghost World Doesn't, as well as the stretching rooms. Disneyland is an elevator, this one the roof stretches. So that's the only real difference. Is. Back to the steamboat train to go. I'll put you guys down because I've got to keep getting through queue and keep stopping and I've got cool. So I'll see you guys when I get into the stretching room, okay? There's no one else who loves me like you used to Sometimes we're not ourselves
see what I can zoom into it. But if you notice way back here in the pet cemetery section, you can actually see the satoads there. Because that attraction was here, but now in that spot is the Pooh Bear attraction. There's also a homage, like a better term, I think that's actually correctly, um, to it in that attraction as well. However, we won't be checking it out today because I think I'm just about to head out. Because the sky is still looking pretty dark. He liked that right as much as I did. I'm actually going to head over into Adventureland now to try to grab a doll whip. Then I'm actually going to get hitting it for today. So it's been fun. It's a quick little visit out to Magic Kingdom. But hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself as much as I have. Let's grab the doll whip. We really haven't had a chance to try one here or here at land, which is unfortunate. The line looks a little long. And we'll play everything up that way here, okay? I actually have got a um, raspberry pie for the moment. I'm not going to try it, but we'll look at it next time. Alright, I actually did have some off the plug way because it's under milk. But, I've got a spoon, but I'm actually just going to keep looking like a um, soft soft whip. Really nice. Far too long for that one of But these crowds are busy, so let's get out and I'm gonna eat this thing a bit easier. So I'll put you guys away. But I'll talk to you when I get down to Main Street, okay? Okay, I'm technically in Main Street, I'm actually in the employee. I came in because the parade was good on, but it's something got really busy because I think a lot of people came in here too after the parade finished off. But I'm just gonna make my way towards the front of the park and actually head out. That's probably where I'm actually going to have to leave it for today. That's all this fun. It's kind of where I need it, but I feel like I ate a bit too fast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today as much as I have. Ooh, let's get past people. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys have liked today as much as I have. But I think that's where I'm going to have to leave it for today. So the main, please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, get notified next to my upload. Also, social bombs feel like always, but that's, that's a wrap. Wow, that was too hard to get out this time, guys. See ya.